All right. Shalom before I start. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakurash, to waters the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. So I'd like to Akim Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity in the video of the Spirit. Your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. All right, and this one, uh, you know, gonna be poking a little bit of fun, but it's a, it's, it's a, it's a serious topic, and of course, it's dealing with women, you know. So it's, in, you know, one of the topics that gets the views, right? But uh, some of y'all, you know, that's around in YouTube land, you know about uh, that swirl couple. What is it? Brett and Rose, the Edomite male and the nigga woman. All right, and here in modern society, it's a trend that's been catching on. Uh, Keisha's all right, and when we say that term, you know, the sisters shouldn't get offended. Uh, Keisha is the term that we use to describe a Israelite woman who is in the world and of the world, usually Southern Kingdom women that are completely demonic in their mindset and in their activities. Uh, and they do all kinds of things that do nothing but lead to and bring death. And right now, it's a fad and it's popular for Keisha's to try and get with what's titled a Brad or a Chad to get with the Edomite male all right and leave the black male behind and to throw much and many insults in doing so you know oh he can provide a life for me that your broke black ass can't you know oh you know he's a real man you know makes real money he can take care of me and mine's well, what you're seeing is that is an illusion, all right? The Gardenian Pact never was real. The Gardenian Pact was created to pull our woman away from us and to cause us to go into sin. Uh, and what you're gonna see, this famous couple, which was one of the starlight ships, one of, one of the flagships for the activity known as swirling, it was a sham the whole time. The dude didn't have money, he wasn't a stand-up guy, he was a loser scumbag who lived in the ghetto. And the nigga woman, she was a stripper who financially supported everything and, you know, got their living off of the YouTube and the Instagram and the videos. It was all a lie. All right. And our women just easily fall for the lies. All right. Easily, easily fall for the lies. Uh, he saw the so called white man does not care about any of us. You saw the so-called white man uses the Negro, Latino, Native American woman as a tool against your man, the Negro, Latino, Native American man, which we are the Israelites. We, the men, understand this. Most of the women don't understand this, which is why you see the world is the way it is today. So let's go. Let's start with this. Okay, I'll knock the music. It says, I never wanted to marry or have kids until I met a 23-year-old single mom of two. 31 so this is you know he you know he's a simp sucker he married this uh i'm gonna say a leftover woman has another man's kids he made a couple kids with her uh and so but this this is the image you know 840,000 likes but if a brother man a black man gets with a non-black woman he's a coon He's a you can't handle that strong sister. You you weak nigga. <laughs> but it gets glorified the other way around. That right there should let you know, hey, something's up. If if this isn't cons if this is considered love, but the other way around isn't considered love, well, why is that? Isn't love love? So when you actually you click on their page, Queen of Kings, right? It's being shown that. You know, oh, perfect couple. Uh, 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 you know, things is all as well in paradise. You know, see sisters, leave that nappy headed broke nigga, that dusty nigga, and come get you a white cane. <laughs> brothers, how many of y'all, brothers, you ain't. Your mama ain't never caressed you like that. <laughs> uh, your mama ain't never uh, held you like that since she was a baby. All right, so they doing dances and, you know, having fun and all that bullshit. But come to 
to find out it's all a sham y'all what's really going on i'm gonna get some scriptures but i'm just laying the groundwork come to find out it's all a sham just met Keisha you know at first he was dealing with Rose you know now there's Keisha so this shit's a sham y'all ladies don't fall for the don't fall for the shit man don't fall there there the Israelite man actually in particular Israelite men we can get with other nationalities but you women you're not allowed to get with other nationalities as a matter of fact if another nation of a man takes our woman it's considered a shame it's defilement. That's why you had the brothers, Simeon and Levi, do what they did. Uh, Genesis 34, I'm going to start at 1. It says, And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. <laughs> so, uh, this, you know, y'all should know the story. This, he was a Hamite, right? He took Dinah, Jacob's literal daughter, if you didn't know that uh, he had one. Uh, and he did a, a Deuteronomy 22 on her. You know, she wasn't betrothed to nobody, wasn't married, and she was out frolicking in the field without the presence of a man, all right, and got herself snatched up. Now, as much as they didn't like it, you know, Jacob was going to deal with the issue let it be right because they you know the, the Shechemites they was gonna break them off right uh, he it well it tells you in the next verse it says what and his soul clave unto Dinah the daughter of Jacob and loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel so Shechem he he he, he sincerely loved her but guess what the boys wasn't feeling that Genesis 34 and 7 and the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it and the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel and lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. It is, it is she making all them posts promoting it. You know, there's certain entertainers that promote that. There's many uh, uh, actors, right, black women actors that promote that. And it says that this shit ought not be done. Okay, now when you jump down. Uh, 
I'll just read it real quick. Genesis 34 and 25. It says, and it came to pass. I'll start at 24. Slide it. Uh, so the sons of Jacob, they was uh, they was slick. They slicked and Rick. So they told him. They said, okay, you want to have our daughter, have our sister. You got to all the males in the village got to get circumcised, right? So Genesis 34 and 24. And unto Hamor and unto Shechem, his son hearkened all that went out of his city. Aslakia, all that went out of the gate of a city, and every male was circumcised. All that went out of the gate of a city. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore, the two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, which are the Dominicans and the Haitians today, Dinah's brethren took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem, his son, with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister jump down uh jacob you know he gets on his sons he's like man why'd y'all do that why'd y'all kill them and what was the son's response and they said should he deal with our sister as with an harlot right this is what the brothers responded this is how serious of an offense this relationship is and here here she go you know here they go promoting it and come to find out it's a sham sisters <laughs> it's, it's a defiled relation and so them children are tares they're going to be destroyed they're not going to be saved the funny thing is she'll after she's destroyed she'll be reborn in the kingdom of heaven and she'll be back with an Israelite man but them children those are uh, Edomites they're going to be slaves until the time that Edom is gathered and destroyed by fire and it's a serious offense so this is not something to be promoted or celebrated this is a grievance unto our nation and I, I like to zero in on the fact that it said a harlot at the end of that verse um, because that's ultimately all that our women will be to the Edomites you just, you're just a harlot you just a hoe they don't give a fuck about you the so called white man enters relations with you to get his rocks off to spurn and spite us the Israelite man because so called white males Edomites they tend to have more access to wealth. Why is that? Because this is their world. They never got disconnected from their heritage by way of slavery like we did. Therefore, they have wealth passed down to gener uh, from generations that we simply do not. They had the ability to get into college. Their parents had uh, owned homes and had accumulated wealth and equity, making it easier for them to, you know, get better loans, set up businesses. We don't have any of that, which is why it's harder for us to sh uh, maneuver in this world. But do our women take that into consideration? No. They just up and jump ship. Well, all you women that have jumped ship, you're going to realize that you jumped to no avail from one fire to another. The grass ain't greener on the other side. Joel 3 and 3. Um, this is dealing with the heathen, right? Uh, it says, and they have specifically and especially Esau, Edom. It says, and they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. All right, and right here, this lets you know that they sold the young men for for sex toys, which is true. We all, we, hey, you look into the history of America, young boys were being sodomized. Uh, go watch that movie, uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin. You get to see that in a dramatic, you know, movie uh, setting. There was painting the young boys with gold and silver and sell them off as toys. And, you know, you, uh, trading the women off as a commodity. That's all that you are to them, a commodity. And she found out the hard way. And so all, all these swirling sisters who, you know, they love them some bread. It's all going to topple. It's all going to fail. It's all going to fall. And see, here it is. She talking shit to him. Look, that's not a nigga. A nigga take his woman talking shit to him. Right? Jacob deal with it. Esau don't deal with that. You piss Esau off you and them kids gonna be chopped up and in the bottom of a lake. You better stop playing with Brad. Brad don't mind a triple murder suicide. Triple homicide suicide. <laughs> that's how they get down. They don't, they don't do no arguing and stressing and, and struggle loving. 
They kill. <laughs> Everything is not what it appears to be and our women are easily deceived and beguiled Being told you will have a better life if you come over here and come to find out it's a whole sham y'all I mean and us, hey, we wasn't surprised You know, it was only gonna be a matter of time We, 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 we wasn't surprised over here trust and believe All right, let me get uh But that that's a common trait of the Israelite woman to be easily beguiled with sin so you sisters, y'all bet y'all y'all well y'all should if you you should know the sisters y'all know better than to be running around with a white boy that's not a, a Israelite foreigner because I will say that right you have uh, Israelite foreigner brothers right uh, hey I'll use this as an example like Caleb Plant you know Caleb Plant got a uh, got him a black wife but Caleb Plant is a nigga you know he's uh, uh, Conor McGregor. All right. If Conor McGregor wanted to go get him a sister, he he all right. <laughs> but y'all y'all know what I'm saying. Clearly, the enemy square as day. Motherfucker ain't go. You know that motherfucker don't go out and preach. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. That's an Edomite. That's not. You know what I'm saying? Run into them thinking that your life will be made easier because they have more access to wealth. Meanwhile, you just digging your grave, sleeping with the enemy. They they gonna eat your ass when this shit pop off. Um, let me get a, what is that, is that 1st Timothy, uh, let me think for 10 seconds, uh, not this one, oh, 2nd Timothy 3, yep, um, I'm sorry y'all, we'll do this. Women can be easily, uh, easily um, beguiled. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 6, it says, for of the, I'm staring right at it, of course, every time, y'all. Yeah, if you watch my videos regularly, you know I do this every time, so it's a lot, yeah. 2 Peter 3 and 6, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lust and that's all that this swirling thing is silly women silly israelite women led away with diverse lust ultimately going back to the garden taking it back to day zero the gardenian pact matter of fact let me look that phrase up you know i'm, I'm gonna just go to it uh in genesis um uh, Uh, Genesis 3 and 1 it says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field we know that the serpent was a man a wicked man uh, the same spirit that was in that serpent was the spirit that would go on to be uh, an Esau Edom today it says a uh, beast of the field says which the Hawabashim Yahushai power had made and said unto the woman what woman Eve Adam's wife yeah hath the power said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden I Meaning what? Dive into the other philosophies and the knowledges that was there at this time. All right, all we had at that time was the knowledge of good. We were not supposed to dive into the different understandings of the evils of the world. All right, ultimately, idolatry and disobedience to the image of God, which is the law, statutes, and uh, commandments given to the Adam and the Eve in this time. It says, and the woman said unto the serpent. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, 
the understanding that was around them, dealing with the other Adamites. It says, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the power hath said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the, for the power doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. All right, so right there. Oh, you, you, you can tap in. Man, don't listen to that. Come on. And what, are, hey, what happened? And what did he do? What did he do? In today's time, y'all, what are some examples of our women being whisked away by Esau Edom? Saki, uh, some examples. Feminism. Uh, 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 you know, the, the civil rights era, it got split off into the sexual uh, liberation, right? Uh, 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 you know, uh, hell, the whole Black Lives Matter thing that happened, you know, a couple years ago. That, was a, that shit was ran by lesbians. Um, the music, you know, the spirit of a, of a diva, of a bad bitch. I don't need no man. I can do bad all by myself. Welfare, you know, assisted housing, food stamps. These are all things that Esau Edom has given to our women to pull them away from being under the wing of their Israelite man, which they fell for. Hook, line, and sinker. All right. As Eve did here. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her and did eat. Right. So she started dealing with the understanding that they were not supposed to, and then presented it to her husband, Adam. All right. And there's a reason why the serpent, hey, I say it all the time. If, if he went to Adam, Adam probably would have killed his punk ass. He would have he would have fucking murked him. So he knew to go to the woman. Why? Because a woman is a man's weakness. He influenced her, then she influenced Adam. So, and this is like, hey, the elder brother Yeshua, but he he he's been saying it recently. You read in Genesis, this is a, a lot of time being rushed and put together in these verses, y'all. You think this was a 10 second process? She went over here, learned this. One. No. The same way, hey, you read in Judges, right? You had a. Uh, let me get that real quick. What did uh? What did what happened with Samson? You could just imagine this was this was not a 10 second process. Eve was introducing it here, introducing it there, weighing on him, weighing on him. And Adam said, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> let's let's dive in. Let's learn more. Let's take in more. And the same shit today. That's why our women have to be in order. Uh, because when a woman is out of order, she can easily misguide her man. Because most men, you know, is ball and chain behind a bitch. Uh, oh, that's why I didn't see it. I was too far up. Okay, judges, let's start back at uh, 16. Um, yeah, right here with Delilah, Delilah and Samson. Uh, she kept asking him what his weakness was. And a couple times he lied. But then eventually... He gave in. Why did he give in? Judges 16 and 16. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart and said unto her, There hath not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto the power from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. So she, she vexed him. She weighed upon him heavily, it says, right? So taking it back to Adam, you know, it wasn't a 10 second process thing. She, she, she lullabied him in, soothed him into it. All right. That she was under the guise of a lie. Surely thou shall not die. Yeah, they didn't die instantly, but we lost our immortality because of it. And when you look at this whole swirling thing, y'all, our women are being beguiled and told that their life is going to be better. It's going to be sweeter, you know, this, that. And it's not. It's a lie. It's a farce. It's a myth. Okay, right here. This is what I typed in. <laughs> God damn. Uh, this shit is a lie. This shit is a scam. Double swirl. Oh my gosh, bro. This shit looks insane. A harlot. You're just being paid to be used. 
How to be irresistible to white men. Interracial dating secrets of Asian women. Black women who swirl should know. And it's, and it's you know, it's called swirl. You know, you take, well, you know, you get some ice cream. You get a chocolate and vanilla swirl, right? This shit is a lie, y'all. And all the sisters who do this, they're going to pay horribly. They're going to pay horribly. As society collapses, that devil's horns is going to bust through his forehead and right through your face. This shit's a lie. Now, I'm not sure. Say, this shit's a lie. And, you know, it's not a thing of jealousy. You know, we not, trust me, we good over here. Uh, this is simply unlawful. All right, straight up and down. So that's it, y'all. I ain't gonna. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Are white men an answer? No, they're not. No Edomite is an answer. We gotta destroy them. That's what we gotta do. Uh, so hey, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashum, Yahweh Shai, Bahashum, Rakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim Wa Akwa. Learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Shalom.